Hi, Susan here. I was hoping to cut uh, today's videos um, up and about or outside down by the river, but uh, I just am not able to be up too much today. So you will have to watch this video with me laying down. It's just sometimes that's just the way it is. I am using perspective switch, right? So if that is how the day is going, just accept it and um, make the best of it. The cool thing is, is the type of work I do working online. I can just bring my laptop to bed and still get my work done, cultivate my relationships on uh, online in my community and carry on. So that's part of the topic today, but not specifically. Specifically, I want to talk about um, the clarity of mind that I find um, that I am able to get, the clearing of my mind with quiet sitting. I don't um, only get it from quiet sitting. Once it becomes a habit to clear your mind, you realize how much space it creates in your mind for only the thoughts that you choose and um, it's just incredible what you can do with a clear mind with all that extra room in there when you don't attach to the random thoughts that just pop into your mind or um, negative thoughts when you're talking to someone. Have you ever noticed that if you're having a conversation with someone and they're talking um, negatively either about themselves or about a situation and all of a sudden your thoughts start going that way and maybe your mood travels that way a little bit as well. Well this is one of the ways that I avoid um, following that path. I, cho I choose what thoughts I attach to in my mind and um, it creates a lot more clarity so it's called clarity of mindset. Once you uh, engage in that, it, it just becomes habitual and you're able to set your intentions, set your goals much clearer, make better decisions. And for me, um, practicing quiet sitting and clearing of the mind daily, it helps me sleep better. It um, helps me cope with my chronic, at times debilitating pain in a completely different way. In fact, to the point that it's one of the things that helps me decrease the amount of painkillers that I take and allows me to take complete holidays from the additional painkillers that I have to take. So clarity of mind is, is huge and once you're able to practice it, it's almost like that is when the real symphony of your thoughts can be heard. And what that means is when you can really enjoy what your own thoughts are and um, it's just really incredible so if you need a little extra help figuring out how to do that for yourself there's a, a few different techniques and everybody's a little bit different as to what works just get in touch with me subscribe to my channel there's going to be um, more videos there already is a few bit videos that I touch on it there'll be a link below to get in touch with me or um, to the article specifically that I've written to do with this video and um, look up my topics on my blog, my articles and with on my channel on my videos of quiet sitting. It's the kind of a really great place to start in learning how to clear your mind and it's just amazing what you can do with it. If you've paid attention to leaders and successful people um, and uh, some of the most popular or most listened to motivational speakers, um, reality speakers, Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins, they're all readers and um, I don't know of any successful person that isn't a reader. So that is, um, that ties right into this because to be able to really uh, engage and make what you're reading a part of your life and a part of the way you think you need to be clear in in your mind and it will take much quicker so 
you might ha if you don't focus on clearing your mind you might have to read it five times before it clicks but if you clear your mind right before you read especially something powerful and positive and uh, towards your growth mindset the very first time you read it it will sink in much more effectively and then when you read it a second time of course you'll still pick up more but it'll just be way more effective I believe very strongly in clearing your mind it's so important even before meditation or um, positive affirmations or affirmations whichever one you use any of those three will be much more effective if you do some mind clearing such as quiet sitting quiet mind time before you do it so get in touch with me if you want some extra tips on that make it a great day susan here i am empowered on purpose